me telling y'all anything, let me just say this for the disclaimer. I am not a professional doctor or psychologist or anything like that. I only speak my truth and my experience because I am a living witness on that. And I'm a professional of being me. So that's what this is about. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get to our regular video. Hey guys, what's up? Thank you guys for coming to another video, another day, another dollar. How you doing? It's your girl, I am Reese, and I am here because it's another. So here is the scoop. Yesterday was actually no Friday. I'm sorry, a Friday was a really, really busy and hectic day. Okay, that's why I look crazy. I, mean, I just don't really feel it today. But anyways, yesterday was very hectic. It was fun. It all ended up fun. But whew, only if people know like what I what I went through yesterday. We had a dinner party yesterday, and it was really fun. Um, I forgot to take out my camera to record some and take some pictures because I really wanted to do that, and I did never. I never had a chance to really do that. But it's okay because we're gonna have many more soon and you know maybe the three years <laughs> i don't know because let me tell y'all let me bag it up i had to go to walmart at least three times to get everything that we needed for the event like seriously and the food alone was so hectic like at the end of the day it was good because your girl can burn she could burn in the kitchen yeah, she really can. And my extended family finally tasted my dishes. Well, one of them. Hopefully, they could taste many more soon. But they finally did. I'm happy about that. Um, my mom came. She helped me out towards the end. She really helped me put it together because I was just running crazy. Like, I, it was just like, wow. And you know, we needed to clean up and I'm like, I'm cooking and I'm trying to clean. I'm trying to get this together. I'm trying to organize this. And there's a few more things I needed to put up on the wall. And it was just so crazy. But <laughs> we pulled it out. We pulled it out. It was good. It was wonderful. Yes, and um, it went well, and I'm really happy. I wanted to do karaoke, you know, that fun stuff, but it's okay. It all went fun. I just kind of regret that I didn't take out my camera fast enough. I, at the end of the day, I was so tired, I forgot. I really did. But that was my Friday. How was your Friday? What did you do? Because that's, that's what I did, and it was really crazy. So I decided to take Saturday and Sunday for like relaxing day. I'm going to tell y'all today, I didn't wake up till late this evening. Um, what I did was I put my TV on, um, on YouTube, did like the little fireplace, even though my TV is actually mounted on the wall above the fireplace, but I had put the fireplace on the kind of play like jazz like it was like one of just it was like one one of them was like a sunlight of the I mean the it was the moonlight over the ocean it was so beautiful and it was playing jazz all day and it was so relaxing like jazz is everything <laughs> y'all just don't know when you want to relax that jazz would do it to you honey It'll make you feel so good inside. But that's what I did today, and I just chilled. I got up around like seven and started cooking dinner. I know that's late, but I, I was so relaxed. I didn't care. <laughs> and um, we ate dinner, and yeah, that's the end of the day. So it was pretty cool. But um, you know, it's 2019, and it's still the beginning of everything. My resolution is to really get healthy and really just focus on my health and everything, focus on everything that I have going on 
I also want to hopefully try to start a family this year too. Also, I don't know, get married. I don't know what the what the future holds with me, but yeah, that's what I want. But I want to focus on my career more than anything right now. So, but I, I really do need to focus on getting healthy. And a lot of y'all don't know this, but I am a diabetic. Been a diabetic since the age of 21. Um, I've been taking it very, um, just let's just say I've been in denial for years and years to come. And slowly, diabetes has been taking me out. <laughs> slowly, it has been really draining me. It's been attacking, attacking my organs, all kinds of stuff. Um, I went to the eye doctor about, um, I went to the eye doctor about like maybe three weeks ago. And what scared me the most is that he told me that in this eye right here, um, nothing they can really do for it. You know, like it's losing its vision. And it really freaked me out. He basically said any sugar that I eat, it really have been attacking me like crazy. Not just that, when I go to my doctor, they also tell me stuff like that, which preventing me from having kids and all that good stuff. So this year I made it up on myself to really get involved into working out, eating healthy, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna do a journey and I'm gonna make sure that it's videotaped because I want to prove to myself, also prove to others that we can do this. Like it's hard because ever since I was a kid, you know, I ate anything I want, you know, and I still was doing that, you know, even in my adulthood, like I still continued to eat what I wanted and I didn't care, you know, so this time I kind of want to take it a lot more serious than I've been taking it. A lot more. Um, I don't want to make my family sad if something happens to me. I don't want to put them through that. Um, I feel like when you're not taking good care of yourself after the doctors tell you so many times and you're ignoring what they tell you, it's kind of like you're committing suicide because you're not following the protocol of taking care of your diabetes and it does take you out i'm i'm a living witness of that when i was going to the eye doctor um i haven't went in three years but when i was going um they would inject my eye um with this long needle and then the following week they would do laser then they'll switch up every week that's what was going on my eyes got so weak because of that so i stopped going big mistake. I should have just continued going because they was allowing my vision to as long as they can to keep it healthy and good. Since I haven't been in three years, no telling where my vision's at right now, you know? So, but I know they got it a little, it got a little worse and I'm just praying that everything works out great. So yeah, so this year is all about healthy living. And if you want to join me, if you want to get on this ride, this journey with me, I would love if you do that. Like if you put in your comments, like um, put down the comments down below, let me know what's your toughest moment, like what's stopping you, you know, from living your truth and living in your journey of healthy living to get back the way things is, uh, they, they used to be in the freedom that you used to have. Like me, I used to have the freedom of where I could eat whatever I wanted, but is it that serious, you know, where I, I'd rather kill myself than just eating healthy, which is so simple. You know what I'm saying? It's either you want to live or you want to die. And I choose life, you know, plain and simple. So in order to do that, I have to get on that ride so i'm willing to do that and i can't wait um tomorrow it's a monday so starting monday your girl will be on the healthy living lifestyle so um if y'all give me a good like couple days i'm gonna videotape my routine um that I'm, i need to first find my routine 
to get on top of it, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and really just, get everything organized and together.